2009 is International Year of Astronomy. Uh, there's worldwide celebrations of Galileo's uh, use of telescope uh, in observing stars. Uh, Galileo actually observed Jupiter and saw the four big moons of Jupiter. He also looked at the moon with his telescope and saw the craters on the moon. Now we're going to do a simple telescope, a simple refractive telescope, a telescope like Galileo that makes use of lenses. So here we have a set of three cubes. We've got a big lens, convex lens, and a concave lens. We have a glue and a set of a pair of scissors. A drawing pin and a white paper with a black circle on. This is how we're going to start. We're going to cut the outer white part and the inner white part. Okay? This is how it goes. Cut the inner white part, the outer white part first, and then the inner white part. Then again, just fold this into a semicircle, into a semicircle, and then cut the inner white part. Okay, this is how it's going to look like. So we just cut it on one side to make it an open black circle. Alright. Now we've got a set of three cubes here. So we're going to move, take out the innermost one, the smallest one. Take it out, put it on the table. Then we have a set of two cubes. Then we're going to pull this one about one finger out, about 10 millimeters, one centimeter. And then take the drawing pin, can put it anywhere as long as it holds both cubes. So we put it in the groove there, like that. There you are. So you have those together. Alright. Now, in building this telescope, you're going to make use of two lenses. In fact, when you build a refractive telescope, a telescope that makes use of lenses, uh, you need a convex lens. So there's our big convex lens. This one makes light to converge. Sometimes it's called a converging lens. Because when light goes through this lens, it's going to converge to one point. Okay, that's your convex lens. And then this side, we have a concave lens. In fact, this one is a biconcave lens. We've got two concave lenses joined together. This one, you will see that it's thick in the middle, but thin on the sides, on the edges. And this one is thin in the middle, and thick on the edges and when light and when light goes through this one it diverges all right so we take our convex lens and hold our two cubes such that the inner tube is there below then we put that one inside there goes in well okay now you take your glues the glue must be on the edge of the lens and must touch also the inner part of the calibre. So we press the glue. Be careful not to have the glue on the inner part of the lens. Okay. Now you take your open black circle. Take your open black circle. There's your glue and your lens there. You put your open, the black must be exposed. The black part must be exposed. There you are, you have to do your first part of your telescope like that. Alright? Now you take your cardboard disc, you push the inner part of the cardboard disc to make a hole there. You take your glue, you put a small amount of glue around the hole. Put a small amount of glue. Careful not to have glue in the hole. Because you don't want to have glue on, on your lens. Then take your lens, put it there. Please do not press it. 
must just have the blue cover and the hole like that. Then you take your blue, you put it on the rim of the tube. Right round the rim. Now you take your cardboard disc, your lens must be on the inside. The lens must be on the inside. There you are. Then you have your cardboard disc sticking on the rim of the tube like that. Okay. Then it's better to put this one upside down so it can stick well. Please remember always to put your, to replace the cap on your glue. Okay, we're nearly half done with the telescope. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take the drawing pin out. So we take the drawing pin out. Then we can hold your, your outer tube in the region of the lens and pull that one slowly out. And then you take the third tube. Your cardboard disc must be on the outside. And there you are, you have your first telescope is your small refractive telescope. It's got its own challenges, but works very well when you look at distances. Your eyepiece will be that one, your objective lens is that one. Therefore, when you use a telescope, you always look through the eyepiece, okay? And you don't see clearly, you can adjust the, length, the focal length of the telescope by moving the different shows until you see a clear image. Enjoy your telescope. Thank you. I think